Hello everyone and welcome to the Hype Production. In this video tutorial, we're gonna model a product which is called Dari Mooch. And uh, you can see these beautiful renders. For that purpose, I'm just gonna show you that uh, we'll find the Google is called Dari Mooch Beard Oil. And you can uh, see their images. They have a different products, so, but let me tell you, this is not a sponsored video. So we are just going to draw this product uh, as a lesson that how to make a product rendering. So first I'm going to take the plane and uh, and that plane, I'm going to make it uh, central line. And after central line, what we have to do, we will have to go to the material editor and find out video material. Here I'm assigning the picture, the picture of that product. And I'll find out this one. And you can easily find out this picture from the Google. So this is my picture here. And uh, I'm going to freeze this picture and remove the check from show unfrozen gray. So that's it cannot be selected anymore and I'm going to take line tool here first and we'll draw a simple line like this and uh, straight line something like this and there it goes okay so at first uh, I will take vertices and find out fillet and will smooth their edges something like this something like this and also the bottom this one and now I'm going to take a let modifier and will make it minimum and in that vertices you just need to set their positions perfectly and now it is equal to the fit. Now I'm gonna flip them so you can see their actual looking. And I'm gonna take cylinder. First cylinder from here. From the top viewport, uh, I'll go and increase their segments. Suppose it has to be 60. And now we'll make a cylinder as a bottle cap, which is something like this. So I'm going to already increase the radius and increase the height as well. So that this is much better. Okay, so I'm going to select all of them and make them to this site. So my one bottle is ready. Now the time has come for the bottle numbers two. Let's draw their, their corners, something like this. That's age by age and this is my bottle cap and I'm going to fillet their corners to make it a little bit smooth it has to be smooth one more as well and the has to be smooth as well and the bottom of course we make it smooth I'm gonna apply let modifier like uh, before so select the let in the modifier list make them minimum so it will be looking like perfect so i think we should make equal something like this <coughs> and then uh, you must have to find out their uh, bottle working as well so once again take the line tool and uh, just draw their corners like this so perfect uh, first adjust their edges and make them fillet by smoothness and also the smooth surface from here okay and apply let modify it in it uh, and make them minimum so the bottle is almost ready and also once again I'm going to select their vertices from the center point of it 
so it, it is my bottle <clears throat> but unfortunately it's not in the center line so what am i going to do i'm going to increase their height or in change the position of the vertices more equate more in the center so my bottle number two is ready as well so the turn is bottle number three start with the line and draw the line on the edges of these bottles and stop on the center once again the same process go to the fillet select their vertices and go to the fillet after flitting it will make it a smooth and also a smooth from here like this on the bottom as well so now apply a let modifier when you will do this so this time is to create their bottle cap take the cylinder tool and draw a cylinder from the top viewport something like uh, this and uh, on the top of it so here i'm gonna increase the radius and the height as well uh, just to match their uh, proper measurements on the bottles so guys you can see this my three bottles are ready not too much complete ready but their basic structure is ready I'm going to increase their size as well and convert them into editable poly you can uh, select their edges and make them chamfer to create some smooth surface on the top of the cylinder or on the cap same process i'm going to do with this cap as well increase their sides and convert them into editable poly take their polygon make them edges and make them chamfer to create a smooth edges which is something like this here i'm going to see their uh, end the main thing is that just need to set their positions their proportion and their height width and length accurately according to the image so i have these both and now i'm just going to materialized and i will apply the v-ray material and will take a, a main color which is called black color 4x4 value and also give them some reflection with 0.8 glossiness and apply it on their caps as well okay so the bottle assign vray material once again and go to the color settings and give them a color 000 and also give them a reflection 20% Okay, it has to be a dark maroon, but I'm gonna convert them into editable poly. I'm gonna select them, connect their two edges between of that. Something like this, that's perfect. Okay, between of these edges to the top, this one, I'm gonna add one edge, and the same process I'm gonna do this with uh, this side. Add one edge by connecting. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm just gonna select all of them uh, uh, polygons from this side and uh, from this side. Go to the material editor and go to the V-ray material and find out the color value which will be a little bit brown something like this and also give them a reflection of 40 percent with 0 0.8 closeness and also again take the video material select their polygons here and here and give them uh, more variation of brown color but it has to be a white so one strip is uh, brown second strip is white and the center part is the branding space so i'm gonna assign the video material with bitmap and i will call the texture of this bottle uh, and i have these texture already drawn it so this one will be my main texture on the bottle the branding space so where we can apply a branding 
So this place has to be a branding space. I'm going to give some reflection as well with 0 0.8 glossiness and uh, sorry 0 0.9 and I'm assigning them. But now you can see it is not visible. Apply the UVW map and it will be visible here easily. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to adjust throughout the UVW map and uh, like this. Also increase their uh, something width and some increase their height. So that will be my uh, proper bottle here. Okay this time the turn of this bottle so the same thing we're going to do this uh, i'm going to convert them into poly i also take the uh, h tool and give them a h something like this and also add another h here something like this same process i'm going to do on the top one h is here and i will add another h and put them here okay <clears throat> Again, uh, take the polygon from this part, go to the uh, selection from down as well and find out material editor, assign their white color and also select this part, assign their brown color and also here you can assign brown color. In the center part, of course, it's a branding space. So I'm going to assign the texture of the main this Dari Mooch bottle and uh, which one has to be uh, something like this this growth shampoo so the texture of uh, growth shampoo with the same 0 0.9 glossiness reflective value and apply uaw map modifier and you can find out this growth shampoo here and uh, increase their weight to to show visibility here and also perfectly done okay so the, so the time is my third bottle convert them into poly and the process is same just go to the age tool first and find out their values and also assign connect one age here and connect another age on the here so we have these two spaces and uh, has adjust the edge here assign one edge on this point and the second one edge on this point okay again select the polygons select their polygons from this side go to the material editor and give them white color on this slide go to the material editor and give them brown colors same process we're gonna do this I'm gonna assign white color and on this part, I will assign brown color. And on the center point, I will assign the branding of this bottle. So I'm gonna take VDA material, go to the pit map, and I will find out uh, growth, gem, no growth vitamin, no growth oil. So this one has to be done with reflection, 0 0.9 glossiness, and uh, assign UVW map. And when you will assign this, so you can adjust their uh, position and the size of this uh, product. This one. Okay. <clears throat> so perfectly done. Uh, we don't need to do this so much thing in it. And I'm going to set these bottle according to that picture, that particular specific picture here. And I'm gonna put them on the back on side of it like this okay so delete this picture now I have a bottles what am I going to do I'm gonna go to the you can see this beautiful portals here I'm gonna go to the camera target camera and I will assign camera from the top of your board something like this and press C on the computer so you can find out camera viewport according to their uh, angles whatever you want to see here I'm gonna take brown sorry box and we'll draw a box as a studio light setup but for that purpose you also need a studio light setup so you can mm, see the link in the description then how can you create a studio light setup 
you can see you can find out I have so many tutorials on a studio light setup so you that's not a big deal but I still I'm trying to create go to the chamfer and give some smoothness on the surface on the rounded surface and uh, here I'm gonna apply a modifier it's called a shell so shell will give the double surfaces it has a depth on it okay so the whole bottles are placed according to their sizes also I'm applying this color on the back plates of the surfaces assign the color okay and I will create the lights lights as well from the left viewport I will find out the light so I'm gonna draw this light from this point like this here and I'm gonna give the a little bit red color with 80% multiplier and I'm will make it visible invisible sorry uh, just turn off the check of invisible you don't need to put invisible light in here I know it to be closed and okay I'm gonna take duplicate by holding shift key and I will turn out this light here I'm gonna change the color of this light from red to uh, blue color and that will be gray color blue one this value 255 okay so these are the colors of my light here and I'm gonna apply this one okay what am I going to do I'm gonna take a little bit more far and uh, more close this back plate and now I will duplicate another light and I will put them on the front this light will glow on the bottles like this apply invisible check and effect reflection none with white color and little bit multiplier has to be uh, five percent so you can find out their values a little bit close to this also some correction in their uh, multiplier has to be 100 and also has to be 120 the blue one okay so it will take out their renders and i will find out this beautiful render of this darimochi portal all right guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you like this to so subscribe my channel press the bell icon thank you so much